Oh. Good morning, and welcome to day seven of week 10 of the Urban Agoge. Yeah. So I'm pretty pleased if you saw the screen footage of my phone. And I definitely do recommend Runkeeper. I don't think it's the most accurate thing in the world. And it takes a few seconds to sort its life out and get started when you hit start. So I'm going to take off five seconds off every time I've had to use Runkeeper. And also it takes you a while to notify you once you've passed a particular limit. So the old army run fitness, uh, the running portion of the test, um, has a maximum run time for my age, or younger than me, of uh, 14 minutes for a mile and a half. And I've just done it in 13.10 if you take off the five seconds. Well, more than that. I was, by the time I stopped run keeper, I'd run 1.51 miles. So 0.1 of a mile. But it did give me a, an average of uh, 8 minutes and 45 seconds per mile. Which ain't bad. It ain't bad at all. So yeah, that's what I was aiming for. That's only going to go down as, you know, I run more. That's a good baseline. And I think it's the, f I think before that it was 16 minutes. So that's, you know, a significant improvement on the last time I managed to run a mile and a half. You know, couple that with nearly running 5K this week. And I'm a happy, happy person. Ah, so, still to come on this episode is me trying to increase my max sit-ups. But it's only going to get harder from here on. Well, I don't know. I don't know. Is it going to be harder doing four lots of circuit training over the next four weeks? Every time I do circuit training or four lots of the exercises on a running day. I don't know, I don't think that's actually harder than when it's uh, dialed up from a few sit-ups and a few push-ups in the first four weeks. And it goes up to actual circuit training in the, in the second phase, in the second four weeks, which is what I've just come to the end of now. I don't know which was harder. I think the exercises are certainly designed to make you break a sweat. That's the point. That's the point of exercise. You know. As one of the old fashioned meanings of exercise was to become florid or stressed. You know. You know, Victorian use of the word exercise would mean that you that someone had become angry. It was a thoroughly exercised and vexed. So yeah, I suppose the Latin probably means to be pushed to the limit. So yeah, you should sweat. Yeah, vive la révolution. So I'm out here filming with the good microphone after lots of a couple of funny comments. Well, I mean, two comments from two different people. That's lots of comments for my videos at the moment, which means that not enough of you are talking about Fight Club. So yeah, two biggies. And the thing is, most of those revelatory exercise moments, the, uh, wow, I can actually do this. <coughs> <coughs> Nearly all those moments come from essentially triumphing over your musculature, musculature, triumphing over your body. You know, the thing that sort of says, no, we can't do that. It's almost like a, it does feel sometimes like when you exercise, you're driving a, uh, essentially an organic mecca. You know, you get a, like an alert klaxon in the cockpit of your brain and it, uh, there's like uh, about two thirds of the way running round. And this is why you should sort of ignore stitches. If you get a stitch in your side, 
and you can feel it and your, your lungs are contracting and you, you, you feel that burn and that pain. And I distinctly recall going, nope, no we don't, I'm not doing this again, unnecessarily. So yeah, and because I overrode the uh, implied safety margins, I got a, a pretty good run time. Now, about five years ago, when I wanted to join the uh, Royal Signals um, Army Reserve, uh, I managed to get town to a time of 11.45 for a mile and a half. So yeah, it'd be nice to reset the clock to that and be significantly fitter. Bear with me just a moment. I need to bring in the cable. The good thing about the Purple Panda microphone is it has a long cable. When you're walking through the woods, the bad thing about the Purple Panda microphone, which is hard to say multiple times, is that it's got a long cable. So yeah, nice woodland wonder. Now that's what I call a cool down. Yeah. So yeah, I'm pleased with that. And generally, given that I've completed the exercises I should have completed, and I think I'm up to date. Whoa, I'm a bit wobbly on my legs at the moment. Yeah. So I can categorically say at the end of month two, um, sort of the end of phase two of the army training as found in the Guardian and the link below, if you're interested, uh, we're getting on to being successful. I mean, I'm not looking forward to two minutes of sit-ups and two minutes of push-ups, but let's be honest, that's not actually any worse than what I did Friday, is it? It's not. What was Friday? Um, or was it Wednesday? It was one of the catch-up days, but it's not actually any worse than that. In fact, it's a lot less time and effort, and it's going to be it would be such a short video that I'm actually just going to put out one video today, even though that there's a gym component and just that will be at the end of this. So uh, I'll put a skip it time in or something like that, but it's not going to be any more than about five or six minutes to skip. That'll save me rendering two videos, even though for some reason the video from this. I'm going to need to look into creating a new blank template, I think. And, uh, yeah, I don't know how I do that. But there again, it will take me 10 minutes to put a new template together at 30 frames a second. I'm wondering if that will make a difference because that's what this camera films at. And change my T3i, the, cat, the DSLR, to 30 frames a second and see if it, if it doesn't have to do extra math, it might render faster. <sighs> so yeah. This is why you people like Urban A Go Gay, basically because there is nerdery. It's not just some jock running around. And, you know, it's like nerdy fitness. Now I would normally say that uh, the idea of this is to be able to do it and not spend out any money apart from maybe a pair of trainers if you don't already have some. <coughs> I'm not a trainer wearer, but I did go and get myself some trainers um, when I was uh, wanting to be in the... Uh, oh, the endorphins are really hitting when I was wanting to be in the Army Reserve. So, these trainers are about five years old, which shows that I haven't really worn them in. Now, I probably need to have a real good look. So if anybody's got any advice, and no, Kevin, I don't want to wear Vibram five finger shoes. Um, but if anybody's got any recommendations, outside of maybe Army Surplus, there's nothing to say I can't get hold of some Army Surplus running shoes. 
So yeah, but I am thinking of uh, phase two of Urban Agoge would be, you know, just, this is quite a way off in the future, this is more than two months away, would be a similar series of stuff, um, but this time with a certain amount of circuit training and weight training, because I think it's got to be feasible to do 15 minutes of exercise a day. Maybe a bit more. Don't know how you, you guys feel about that. Uh, but I want to do some weight training. And I've got the best reason. Uh, got the best reason to do weight training. One, there's a very good... Um, website called Starting Strength and two I will feel that I've got something interesting to say if I ever meet Henry Rollins or Joe Rogan and that'd be interesting Henry Rollins is my spirit animal he isn't quite human but that's why I like him Henry Rollins is from uh, either another time or another parallel universe. <coughs> All good protein. I just swallowed a midge. Beware the biomecha. Small flying things. Yeah. Look, actual sand. Oh, microbeach. So, yeah. So imagine getting damn hench and then just going to Henry Rollins show and Henry, I'm this shape because of you. So yeah, that's kind of fun. Because <coughs> although I don't, you know, necessarily agree 100% with everything that Henry Rollins says, I am not of the Church of Rollins. You've got to admire the guy. And he said some crazy shit over the years, but, you know, we all live and learn. I guess if you listen to old recordings of Henry Rollins, you go, oh, right, he's not really uh, a modern human. He's got some sexist attitude, but I don't think that's the case anymore. I think he's one of those people that is prepared to educate himself as time goes by, like we all are. So, yeah. And don't forget, Henry Rollins was doing a lot of his stuff. If you go and listen to his spoken word stuff, most of that's from the 90s. So yeah, things have changed. You can't, you can't turn back the clock and say, oh, this person was out of order. Uh, I think Joe, Joe Rogan has got the capability to be problematic. But he's taking a very difficult stand. He will pretty much interview anybody. So, yeah. Ah. Yes, there's definitely a war on... Ah, what do we call it? It's a war on wasting your life, I think. Don't waste it. Be capable. Learn to be capable. Then go and have adventures. And I think that's the important thing. You know. Still a bit muddy. Yeah. I think adventures are the most important thing. I think everybody should try and have adventures. It's important. What else were you going to do? Really? Yeah. 
So I'm going to stop it there. Um, because I'm going to cut in footage of me doing the push-up trial and the sit-up trial. So we're going to leave it there for a minute and then we'll, I'll carry on with some rambling. And then I'll get it all out in one video. So the video might be quite long today. Okay, we'll see you in a bit. Okay. So, it's that time. Um, so it's one minute of push-ups, one minute of sit-ups, and then one minute of push-ups, and then one minute of sit-ups to generate my new max score. And I'm going to be taking a break between both of those. Um, reps. So, I guess I'd better begin with push-ups. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, Thirty-five push-ups in a minute. Now well, that's some improvement. That's pretty good. I'm pretty impressed with that. Bearing in mind that the US Marine Corps wants twelve chin-ups, forty push-ups, forty sit-ups, and probably about a mile and a half running as a base level for fitness. And the advantage is, I don't have some crazy psychopath screaming at me. So I'm now gonna do a minute's worth of sit-ups, and then I'm gonna take a few minutes break to collect myself and see what I do second time around. That's a little bit better than my previous max score. <coughs> but it's really quite something to be competing against yourself. Because you know, if you get good exercise and you eat right, you are always gonna, you know, improve over time. So 25 sit-ups, 35 push-ups. <sighs> I'm going to take a few minutes and I'm not going to make you guys watch that, so... Uh, right. So, let's get this over. I've got stuff to do. One, 
two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four. Oh, that's all I got. 32. So. <sighs> so. 35 plus 32 is 67. Call it 34 is my new max, so that's cool. Up from 20, so that's pretty good. <sighs> and uh, <sighs> 23 sit-ups to, well, 26 sit-ups to beat in a minute. So my new max sit-up is 26 and my new push-up is 34 and my new time is approximately 13 minutes for a 1.5 mile run and I'm pleased with that. Um, probably in about four weeks time it will be up to um, you know standard military minute fitness requirements. Oh, should be nice. So yeah, um, yeah, so I better try some pull-ups, I guess. That'll be a minute though. Oh, I'm so looking forward to this being over. It has been a hard, hard day and I desperately need a shower, but uh, pull-ups is what we do. Mm. I don't have much in the way of visions for success at this point. <laughs> and I'm calling that five. That was definitely four and a half, but I'm going to call it five for today. As always, please make sure that you don't injure yourself doing this. I am a nut job. Um, I should be looking forward to retirement at my age, but you know, obviously midlife crisis is cutting in. So do take care of yourself, don't do anything stupid. Um, I hope that this helps you get off the couch, even if you get off the couch just to go for a walk. But yeah, I'm shattered. So, as always. Uh, but yeah, I'm going to say this afterwards, so let's get back to the woodland walk. So yeah, as of now, I don't really have any idea 
um, how well I'm going to do in the sit-ups and push-ups. I'm going to stagger them. I'm going to take a little rest between each one. So I'll do push-ups, then sit-ups, then push-ups, then sit-ups. And I'll just really push myself. And I'm going to take a good couple of minutes break in between. And then I'll do some pull-ups. So I've no idea how I've done on that. And also I've no idea how much I currently weigh. I'm going to pull a sneaky. I'm going to weigh myself after I've done the push-ups and sit-ups. And then we'll see. Because although I'm quite tired, all I'm going to have burned in that chunk of time is a maximum of about 300 calories. So which is a pound of fat, or yeah, a pound of fat what is 3,500 calories, so it's like 0.1 of a pound. Um, so when I weighed myself this morning, it was 93.6 kilos, <coughs> which uh, is a little better than last time I weighed myself. Although it does seem to fluctuate. I have weighed myself sort of unofficially a couple of times since then. And it's gone up to like 94. If I've had a bit of a binge. And then it's come back down to, I don't know, 93. I think the lowest it's been is 93.5. So I'm back on track a bit. So yeah. There's a bunch of stuff I need to film. So I definitely want to film some cooking vids. And I'm definitely going to treat myself to a nice breakfast this morning. Hang the diet. Oh, I don't mind really, at this point. I can run 5k, I can run a mile and a half in 13 minutes. I can do 6 or 7 chin-ups. I'm well on my way to being born again hard. So yeah. Oh. And as from tomorrow, I have a week off, which is nice. I'm very much looking forward to that. I'm going to try and have at least, at the very least, two adventures. So I'm hoping to get out to a place uh, near Liverpool called Formby, which is interesting. Well, the cool thing is if I say it on camera, I've kind of got to go. It's not too far, it's about an hour away. And uh, the, it's got some interesting, it's, it's on the coast, and it's got some interesting features like um, sand dunes coming in among pine trees, which looks pretty odd. And the other thing, and, and anyway, it's the sea. I haven't been to the seaside in a long while and uh, I think it'd be a good opportunity for shooting some video and uh, the other thing that they have there is uh, last time I was there is a colony of red squirrels which doesn't seem like a big deal if you live in continental Europe or America I think there are red squirrels in America but essentially what it boils down to is um, the grey squirrels came over from zoos and stuff like that and escaped because they're squirrels they're fantastic like acrobatic rats and uh, the female red squirrels actually prefer the male the, the, sorry the female red squirrels actually prefer the male grey squirrels so they just outbreed them so yeah that's a, an interesting cultural relationship there so th there's an interesting thing in that I remember the era when the grey squirrels were taking over from the red squirrels when I was a child and you'd see these piebald grey stroke red squirrels all over the place. So yeah, so I'm going to take a bag of hazelnuts and sunflower seeds and stuff like that and set up a tripod and a long lens and take some pictures and some squirrels if I can. Because I haven't seen a red squirrel in, a, you know, in more than 40 years. So yeah. So that will be interesting and possibly useful type thing. Improve my photography. Take my decent camera and my long lens and see what I can do. Maybe get some footage, you know, some distance footage close up. Ah, I don't know. And the other adventure is the Olden Way, which is going to be fun. 
so yes. <sighs> and I'm still definitely sure that uh, one of the best things about urban agoge is that you feel productive. Yeah, or I am, as a result of Urban Agoge, getting to be super productive. It's like making a video every single day. At least one. I'm getting out of the house every single day. And I'm getting exercise, and I'm losing weight, and I'm becoming healthier. And I'm becoming... I think um, my, my understanding of filmmaking is improving as well. So it's sort of like I'm managing to fold in a hell of a lot of skills. And an understanding of diet. If I manage to go down this road further and quit cigarettes, uh, I'll be better off and even more healthy. Just had a very bad idea. Uh. Uh. Okay, so Now, I don't mean dating advice when I'm talking about this. But... I don't know. Could we collectively work out how to put things for online dating? If I start doing a lot more if I go right, okay, let's see how this affects the determination and the fitness and the paying attention more, doing research, by which I don't mean getting game. I mean, you know, being a more rounded human being, how would that affect your dating profile? Because I live on my own. I wonder if that would make a significant change does this make you more bright eyed and bushy tailed and more attractive I mean I'm 48 if I can get a date or a number of dates does that make a difference uh, yeah don't know I don't know could you fold that into the, the grand experiment because the reason I make it such a good guinea pig for this is essentially I wasn't, I didn't have anything better to do. You know, I have those advantages. I have a lot of spare time. You know, I don't mind being in front of a camera. I can make it all happen myself. So it's just a case of applying one to the other. And it is an advantage not being particularly well off. I mean, you know, for a Western person, you know, I'm in terrible financial shape. So like if, if basically, and I really hate exercise and would avoid it. So yeah, that's what makes me a good guinea pig. And I'm largely undateable, so. <clears throat> if I can leverage the Urban Agoge and create that new fitness system. Wouldn't that be interesting? Does that make me more dateable? Could I find someone that was interested in that to hang out with? Huh. Yes. Let's climb up the, uh, the Maslow hierarchy of needs. Okay, so that's where I'm gonna leave it with, you know, in, in the weirdness. Um, could make a difference but you know but if you think about someone that's like me a bit geeky um, deeply in need of an overhaul and I can physically and mentally overhaul myself to be more capable then you know why shouldn't I be able to you know give myself a more romantic overhaul yeah could be 
So, that's where I'm going to leave it today, with all of you looking deeply worried at your computer screens, but you know, it's just, perhaps it's just the fact that it's finally getting warm in Manchester and we're all waking up a bit. But yeah, or perhaps it's down to endorphins. So I'm going to leave it there. As always, thanks for watching and do take care.